Hi, I'm Georgia, and today's letter is the letter O. Play, play, play along. Come on and play along. Play, play, play along. Come on and play along. So today's letter of the week is the letter O. And see how it looks just like an O? An O is one of those letters, it's a vowel. That means it's one of those superstars that makes some of the other words possible, all right? This is like the glue. So O makes different sounds. It can sound like O, like the sound of the letter, and we're gonna do that on a long arm because that would make that a long vowel. So, and it sounds like O, or it could sound like A, ah, and that would be a short vowel, and that's gonna be right here, but O also makes some other sounds, and we'll sign them up here when we do those other sounds because it's, it can have lots of different sounds. So here we go with a bunch of words. Now our first, we're gonna start with the long O words. This is a, a word that starts with a long O and that would be ocean. So this is a sign for water. And then we've got waves. So the sign for ocean would be, so you got the water and the waves for ocean. I love to go walk along the ocean. And this is a funny one, because it's like a little expression. It would be like, oh my. So you put your hands up to your face with a probably a smile or a surprise. So if you were to go, it means, oh my. Now here's See this little guy up here, this old man? He's got a beard. So the sign for old is like you're grabbing that big, long beard. But it doesn't, you're not just talking about people. It could be, I have an old pillow that's really comfortable, or I have an old, uh, my dog's kind of old, but <laughs> you know, I have an old sweater that I just love to wear. Over starts with that long O, but over can have different meanings. It can be meaning above, or it could be higher, like uh, um, <laughs> the, the roof is over the floor of the house, all right? Or it could mean going over something. Like, I went over to my friend's house. I went, I jumped over the fence. So it could be, has, just because you see the word, because when we say it in the context, that's how we know what that word means. But there's different signs to show which kind of over we're talking about, okay? Okay, here's, a, speaking of okay, you go, okay. Okay, so you're gonna sign the letter O and then you're gonna make the letter K. You kinda of, kinda of come out from your mouth there. Okay, so if it's okay, we can just sign it instead of say it. The word open starts with a long O and when we're gonna open something, we open it up. Open, open. So now we're gonna be talking about some short O sounds, and that would be ah, ah. Okay, instead of the O, we're gonna do ah. These words start with a short O. And here we have the words on and off. Now, on can have different meanings. You know, like over had different meanings. On would be like, I'm gonna put my sweater on. I'm gonna take my sweater off. I'm gonna put my shoes on. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I'm gonna put the book on the table. I'm gonna take the book off the table. See, we have on and off. But we also have on and off here, like when you're turning on a, um, a light or whatever. So it'd be, I'm gonna turn on the car. I'm gonna turn the car off. I'm gonna turn the radio on. I'm gonna turn the radio off. And you hear that ah sound? And here we have one of my favorite animals that starts with a short O, ah sound. This is an octopus. 
octopus because the octopus there's like the body and then there's all the little legs bouncing you know because the octopus has eight legs so this would be the octopus swims out in the in the ocean right but remember I said how O can have different sounds besides the long O and the short O ah it can also it can make other sounds so like the word orange orange and for to do make the sign for orange you're going to take your hand and like squeeze it under your chin this is a sign for orange but you don't want to do it out here because this would be the sign for milk okay so we're going to do it under here but that's a different, little bit different sound for O. So I am wearing an orange shirt. Now we can have orange juice too, because this sign for orange can be the color or it can be the fruit. Now for orange juice, you're going to make an orange and then you're going to take the letter J and scoop it over here by your chin. This would be orange juice, orange juice. And O can make a sound like ow, ow, owl. This is a sign for owl, like those big eyes. Doesn't it look like an owl? Okay, so the owl was saying who. The ow sign, we have the sign for out. This is out. And then this would be outside. So if we're going to take something out, we can just lift it up or we can go outside. So that makes it a little bit, you're moving the hand a little bit further away. So out, outside. Onion, uh, it's a different sound for an O. And the sign for onion is right here by your eye because a lot of times when you cut onions, you might cry. So this is a sign for onion. I love to cook onions and put them in food. And this is a funny one. So this O makes a U uh sound. This is a sign for oops, oops. Like you, you uh, run into something and you could say oops. And then we have signs for phrases. And this is our once upon a time. So you like thinking back, you're remembering back. So I start every story with once upon a time, there's actually a sign for that. So B means once upon a time. So review the signs because I'm going to come back in, in just a few seconds here and I'm going to start telling the story. So if you want to review, do it now because it's almost story time. Okay, it's story time. All right. I woke up and decided it would be a great day to go and go down to the... I just wanted a day where I could relax. So I went and I got my favorite beach chair, my towel with a big it. I put sunscreen. I put my big hat and I went. On the way there, I turned the music, but then when I got there, I turned my music because all I wanted to do was listen to the waves of the... I got there and I said, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that blue. And the seagulls were flying. The water, just stunning. I started taking pictures as I walked down to the tide pools and then all of a sudden I tripped a rock. Clumsy me, I need to watch where I'm going. I was covered in sand, so I brushed the sand. I was, so I continued on down to the tide pools. In the tide pools, there was a baby swimming beside a purple sea urchin and there were little swimming all around. I took some more pictures and then walked up the beach where I sat on my towel, I, my lunchbox and took out my snack. I had some to drink and a ham and sandwich with lots of mustard. Yum! 
and I lived happily ever after. Okay, now I'm going to tell the same, basically the same story again. See if you can do it. No clues this time. I woke up and decided it would be a great day to go to the... I just wanted to be where I could sit and relax. So I got out my beach chair. I got out my towel with a big on it. I put my sunscreen. I put my hat and I went. While going there, I turned the music, but once I got there, I turned my music because I just wanted to hear the waves of the... I got there and all I could say was, it's absolutely beautiful here. The is so blue and the seagulls are flying, the water, just lovely. I was taking pictures as I was walking down to the tide pools when all of a sudden I tripped a rock. How clumsy of me! I need to pay better attention. And I was covered in sand. So I brushed the sand. I was... So I continued on down to the tide pools. Once there I saw a swimming and then there were some purple sea urchins and some little fish. I took some more pictures and then I walked up to the beach and I sat on my towel, I, my lunchbox where I took out my snack. I had some to drink and a ham and sandwich with lots of mustard. Yum! And I lived happily ever after. So that was a story using words starting with the letter O. Now, next week, be sure you watch because we're going to do the letter P. Okay, so we'll see you next week. Play, play, play.